kids and families. I hope this lesson finds you well. We are currently on our week three of our Challenge Accepted series. We went through last week um, with our big idea of Jesus Shows Me the Truth. Today we're going to be learning a new big idea, so stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. But before we do it, let's kick off because last week we didn't do it. We're going to sing our books of the Bible, so let's do that. All right. Here we go. You got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea. Joel and Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Woo! Good job, guys. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um, once again, we're just going to keep singing those books of the Bible every once in a while. Little, I have a, let's jump into our little object lesson for today. Bible with you guys. Now, let's jump into our big idea. So our big idea for today is simply this. Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. So Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. Now, you'll notice I've got my bat here. And, you know, I've noticed when watching the game of baseball, the pitcher, the pitcher almost tries to catch the, the batter off guard. He'll throw a pitch then he'll try and make it to where the batter can't reach. It's almost as if he tempts him to swing at a bad ball. Now, in the same way, if we get tempted sometimes and the ball's just out of reach, ugh, it's trying to tempt us to hit it, even though we know it's probably a bad ball. But the thing for us is, is to wait for that perfect strike right in that zone where we hit it and not go after those, uh, those bad balls that are being pitched at us in life. So that's our big idea for today, is that Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. All right, guys, let's jump into a little bit more here. Reading. I have this. Oh, this cookie smells so good. But, you know, one thing that's a little bit of a problem is I kind of shared today that I wasn't going to eat as many sweets, but it smells so good, and it looks so delicious. Nice cookie, probably tastes pretty good as well, but I'm in a predicament because I just shared I wasn't going to eat sweets. You could say I was tempted. Now, put temptation with our Bible story today that also includes fasting. Do you know what fasting is? It's where you don't eat for a while. <laughs> so you do it to get refocused um, on God, and you give something up. And this story today shares about a time when Jesus um, went into the wilderness and was fasting, and he was tempted with some with some pretty interesting deals, we'll say. So our passage is going to be coming from Mark chapter 1. Let's see. Our initial passage is verses 12 through 13. And it says this, The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness, this is Jesus, 40 days being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals and the angels were ministering to him. So, 40 days. Now this is just the intro to this passage. But how would you feel about uh, not going fasting and being in the desert for 40 days? Ugh. <laughs> that's a long time but let's let's I think I would be hungry I know you would be too but let's jump into the, the next part of this so the next passage is in Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 4 so make sure you you flip a little bit um, over to the left and you'll find in the book of Matthew so Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 4 let's pick up this uh, this Bible story today then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil and after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Oh. 
Now, now maybe I shouldn't have placed this yummy cookie near me. Um, yeah, because if it's near, it, I'm likely to be tempted by it. But, you know, it's interesting in this Bible story how uh, Satan came to Jesus and tempted him with the one thing after fasting for 40 days was with food. And Jesus was probably hungry. Now, I need to be strong and not eat this cookie, um, even though it may be tempting me. Um, I know I shouldn't do that because I made that commitment today to not do that. Let's keep reading as far as how Jesus continued with this temptation struggle that he had um, with uh, Satan trying to tempt him. So let's jump in verses 5. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Now, Jesus replies, Jesus said to him, Again, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Basically, Jesus is putting it back on Satan and letting him know, um, I'm not going to be tempted by this. <laughs> but if you think about it, it's like, it's like our big idea. Jesus helps us when we're tempted. So even when we get tempted with something that maybe we know we shouldn't be having, he's there and he's willing to help us. We just need to be willing to call out to him. But Jesus, he puts Satan in his place and he continues to not do this from what's written, not once, but twice, but there's another situation. So let's keep reading Matthew chapter eight, um, or verses, sorry, verses chapter four, verses eight. There we go. All right, and it continues. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kings of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. Whew. Talk about being put under pressure, especially when being tempted by Satan. Now, we have temptations in our, throughout our days, but the thing about it is, is when temptation comes up, we need to go to him and him alone, and ask God to help us with that temptation. Whatever it may be, Jesus will help you. So Jesus will help you when you're tempted. And that's our big idea for today. Let's jump in to our uh, video with Crazy Carl today and see what he's up to. Oh, hi there, little chicken nuggets. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Gotta be ready. Gotta be ready. <sighs> Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <gasps> oh, hey there, kiddos. I don't know how much time I have to do Grow TV. I'm training. You see, a super athlete like myself has to constantly train to keep a super human physique. Ouch! Drill horse. Anyways, so I'm known to be the best athlete on the planet. I gotta do whatever it takes. And that means looking at other athletes and doing what they do. So number one, breathing techniques and mind relaxation. Let's get to it. Calmness is the spirit. Of relaxation. What are the things that make you relax, Carl? Puppy dogs. The color neon orange. Grizzly bear droppings. Grizzly bear tickles. Do grizzly bears tickle? I don't know, but I'd love to find out one day. I like to think they do. Number two, flexibility. Every great athlete knows that being flexible will guard you against great injuries. So let's get flexible. Ah, oh, oh, that's actually really tight. Ah. Carl, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Can you help me up? Yeah. Thank you, Cassie. 
Sure. So what were you doing on the floor? <sighs> well, I was training. Training? Training for what? Well, to become the greatest athlete who ever lived. Oh, right. Of course. So how's it going? Can't you see? <laughs> it's going fantastic. Oh, yeah. Obviously. All right. I'm not quite there, but I still have one more step of training. Really? What's the last step? Let me see. Check my phone. Fasting. Oh, cool. I've never done it before. Have you? Once or twice, yeah. Really? All right. Well, do you mind if I give it a try? Go ahead. All righty. <clears throat> Um, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm fasting! This is not how you fast. Yes. Oh, Cassie? Yes, it is! It's what all great athletes do! You didn't see me slowly? Pretty cool, huh? Sure. Hey, Carl, how about you sit down? I think that's enough training for the day. Yeah. All right, I feel good. Fasting is the best. I don't want to burst your bubble, but I think fasting is a completely different thing. Oh, really? Why don't you tell me why you think it is? Fasting is when you choose not to eat or drink specific things during a certain amount of time. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, unless you think Jesus is wrong. What? No, Jesus is never wrong. How would you say that? Well, Jesus fasted. Really? When? Well, it says in Mark 1 that Jesus went alone into the wilderness. That's awesome. If anyone deserves a little me time, it's Jesus. Oh, no, Carl. Jesus didn't go into the wilderness on vacation. He went there specifically to be tempted. Okay, pump the brakes. Why would Jesus do that to himself? Well, Jesus knew that doing God's work was going to be very tough. Jesus went into the wilderness to pray and gather strength for what lay ahead. Wow, I know Jesus is God's son, but man, that still had to be tough. Yep, and while Jesus was out there, he fasted. Cool, so he was only out there for like what? 20, 30 minutes? 40. Oh, 40? <laughs> That's not that bad. Days, That's... 40 days. I beg your pardon? Jesus was out there for 40 days, fasting and being tempted by the devil. Well, what did the devil tempt Jesus with? If you read Luke 4, we find out that the devil told Jesus to turn stones into bread, to jump off a really high place and force angels to catch Jesus, and even for Jesus to bow down and worship him. Those are weird things to tempt someone with. The devil knew who Jesus was and wanted to turn him against God. Of course, that didn't happen, though. Isn't that incredible? But I still can't get over how he was tempted for so long. How many times did Jesus fall into his temptation or mess up? Would you believe me if I said zero times? Yeah, I would. <sighs> what? What's wrong? I guess, I guess I'm a little discouraged. Why? This should be good news. Good news? How? I can't even go 40 seconds without messing up. But Jesus went 40 days without falling into temptation. Jesus can go on forever. I can never do that. Well, of course you couldn't. You're a great person, but you're not Jesus. Carl, you see, Jesus did this to give us the perfect example on how to live. And when things get rough, he told us what to do. Well, what did he tell us to do? Well, he told us to give our worries to God, and Jesus shows us that he can help us. Help us, huh? Even when we're being tempted? Especially when we're tempted. I know Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. Yeah, I guess you're right. Carl. Hmm, yeah. Can't see. You are right. Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. He does. He does. You're so right. Carl. Yeah. Jesse. That's good, yeah. Did you hear what I said? I did. Yeah. Make me emotional. Yeah, he helps us. He helps us. Mm, that's good. That's good stuff. You're so right. Carl. Cassie. Oh! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready! One, two, three. Jesus helps me when I'm tempted! Yeah! So, Mr. Super Athlete, do you think you're finally finished with all your training? Not quite. Choo choo! <laughs> choo 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 choo! Ha! Choo choo choo! Get it? Look at I'm training. Come on, Cassie, train with me. Choo choo! Choo choo! <laughs> yeah! See you later, kids! Woo! <gasps>
Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Piece of paper, just a regular piece of paper. Get a pencil or a pen. Well, and what I want you guys to do throughout the week, this is a challenge as a family to finish this statement. Jesus helps me when I'm tempted when I'm blank, whatever it may be. It could be Jesus helps me when I'm tempted with, I don't know, lying, uh, stealing, not saying nice words, um, it could be a whole bunch of things, but Jesus helps me when I'm tempted with whatever it may be. And I want you to just write this out. Now what we're going to do is once you have it completed as a family, I want you to fold it like a hot dog style. So fold it like a hot dog style and fold. Next thing you're going to do is you see this top part? You're going to have it come over the top like Whoop! <laughs> I'm gonna make it come over. I'm gonna put my goal post back up like that, and then I'm gonna have you fold it again, just like that. So we go one, two, and then fold it, and then fold it again. And you should have a little tail right there. So what you're gonna do with that little tail is you're gonna stick it in this little hole right in here. Just now, what we should do with our temptations is we should go to God, right? So, but now we got our football. So, what you can do is you can put this on a piece of on a table, or you can kind of keep it here. And just like how we should give our uh, whenever we're tempted, our temptations, and go to God, we should go do that too. And you can have someone hold their fingers up, and you guys can play that game too. But just remember. Uh, Jesus helps me when I'm tempted, whatever that may be. With going over our verse and closing in prayer today. So our activity for today when it comes to memorizing our verses, you're going to need a ball or maybe a pillow or something like that. And what you're going to do is every time you say a word, you're either going to throw the ball or object up in the air. All right. So, for example, it would go like this. Who? Is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes Jesus whoa, is the Son of God. First John oh, 5 5. <laughs> now, so that's how we're going to practice it, all right? So remember, sure, get off the couch. Come on, you can do this. Ready? Find something, object something light, um, that you can do this with me, all right? So let's try this. Ready? Who is it that overcomes the world? Ugh. Only the one who believes Jesus is the Son of God. First John 5, 5. Whew. You going to go faster? Let's try this, okay? All right, last time. Here we go. Ready? This is our month verse. Here we go. Who is it that overcomes the world? <laughs> Only the one who believes Jesus is the Son of God. First John 5, 5. <sighs> I think I did more hits than I should have, but hey, you know what? Got me moving a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed um, our lesson for today, but let's close in a word of prayer as we finish this lesson of Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. Dear God, you are so great, and we are so glad that you hear our prayers. Help us when, we, when we're struggling with temptation, when we know we shouldn't do things. Um, may we instead go to you and pray how we can do the right thing. Love you, Lord, and we thank you so much for setting an example of how to live a life um, for your name. It's your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, hope you have a good rest of the day or week whenever you may be watching this. And stay tuned for next week, Sunday, 8 o'clock a.m. Have a good one.
John 5, 5. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God.